Gero Formulas Whey Protein Unflavored Powder in Death Reviews. This product has 4.6 stars based on 3,032 ratings and 1627 reviews. 89% of customers have overall ratings of 4 or 5 stars while ratings of 1 or 2 stars accounting for 5% of all reviewers. Let's look at a recent positive review. It said I will never, ever buy another protein powder as long as I live. Okay, that may seem a tad melodramatic. I have good reason to be. As a long-time user of whey protein, I have developed way to deal with the dreadful taste all brands seem to have to some degree. Specifically, I tried to hide it in tons of frozen fruit and juice. That solution was less than ideal to me when I came out of denial and honestly tabulated the amount of sugar in one of my fantabulous smoothies. Once I resigned myself to more moderate creations, it quickly became clear to me that if I didn't find a brand that tasted better than all the others I had tried over the years, I had a 0% likelihood of continuing to supplement my protein intake. So I prowled the product review pages on Amazon and came across a recommendation for this stuff. Hands down it is the best tasting protein powder I have ever tried. I mixed a scoop into a cup of strawberry Greek yogurt, and it actually made it taste better to me. Sort of creamier and less sharp. One cup of milk, a full scoop of powder, two tablespoons of Nesquik, and I can actually forget I'm not drinking plain chocolate milk. Only 25 carbs and 27 protein, just like that which is a darn sight better than the old death by sugar smoothies I used to make. If I could give it six stars, I would. Is there anything the product needs to be improved on? Let's take a look at a critical review. Smells terrible. Pros while I can't say I've come across a tasty protein shake, this one isn't too bad. The protein to calorie ratio is good without the cholesterol being off the charts. Cons it smells terrible like paint thinner or some other very strong chemical. Makes me nervous to put it in my body. I thought it was the packaging, but it's the actual powder. I'm going to reach out to the manufacturer and see if this is normal or if I just got a bad batch. I'll update this when I find out. The consistency is pretty thin. Not like a smoothie. Depending on what you use it for that could be a pro or a con. I tend to like my shakes on the thinner side so I get more water and so it doesn't bother me. If you're looking for the cake batter consistency this is not the powder for you. That's it.